Hey guys, prepared wander out in the woods today and uh, took a hike down to the lake today to check it out. I haven't been down here in such a long time. I wanted to see what it was all about. <clears throat> it's a beautiful day. And um, of course I found one of my most dreaded things is just piles of trash. Garbage bags full of trash, blankets, clothing, beer bottles. Uh, it's disgusting. It's, it's actually so much trash that I can't even carry it out on my own, so I'd have to come back with a couple trash bags to haul this stuff out. It'd take a few trips, too. So, unfortunately, that's what happens in today's society. Uh, more and more people come out to enjoy the woods and enjoy the lake, and you have to live with other people's garbage. So, anyway, just a pet peeve of mine. Um, what I wanted to do today is I wanted to... Uh, going more in depth on this backpack and the contents that I carry in it. Uh, as my last video, you might have seen the, the 3V VLOX 2 bushcraft backpack. Well, that was really more about the backpack itself and just talking about all the finer points of its construction, how it's built, and the features of it. And today, I'm actually going to go through all the contents in this bag, what I carry in it, and why I carry them, kind of talk about that, and just show it a little bit more in depth. It's been a while since I've done one of these. Um, so I thought, why not? Today would be a great day. So you're going to have to excuse some of the background noise. There are boat, boaters out on the lake, and there's a plane that's buzzing around the top of the lake. So, you know, it's going to happen. But uh, anyway. All right, always on the outside of my packs, I always like to carry a canteen set. And this is um, this is the, the canteen set that... Uh, um, heavy cover cells and also it's made by a company called Keith. It's titanium. So I've got my actual canteen. I've got my canteen cup in here. So that way I always have something to boil some water with because I, when I come outside I, I always like to make coffee, um, start a fire, and uh, this gives me that opportunity to do that. So I've got my, my means of boiling water which is, I think is really important. Um, on the outside of the pack here, you'll notice I've got this wooden stick. And you're like, well, what's that all about? Well, I take that out, and I go into my main pocket of my pack. I've got my tomahawk head, and this is the CRKT Woods Kogan uh, T-Hawk. You can see that right there. Great piece of kit. Um, I really like this hammer on the end of it. It gives you a lot of options for nailing down stakes and um, just pounding stuff into the ground. And it's cool. I got this aftermarket Kydex sheath for it. Which really makes it nice storing that in my pack and I like that I can take the head off uh, for storage. Inside the main pack I've got my my woods coot my wood kuska. So with the canteen it, since it's titanium it's kind of hard to drink out of that cup sometimes it gets a little too hot so drinking coffee out of a wood cup is much more enjoyable. And here uh, you've seen a video I did on this, on making this. This is the drawstring pouch that I made. This is my um, uh, flint and steel kit. So I'll use this to keep all my flint and steel stuff in it. Let me show you what's in here. So I've got an Altoids tin and this has my steel in it and some chaga and there's pieces of flint and there's uh, a little bit of punk wood. And I've also got um, char cloth underneath that. So that goes in that container. And then this, with this container, I can actually use this to make char cloth if I want to. And then down in here, inside the pouch, I've got some natural materials, more punk wood, another piece of flint. I've got some birch bark that I've collected from Pennsylvania. I've got my um, uh, jute twine to make a tinder bundle and then down below I got a big piece of fat wood that I collected from the woods out here actually. So everything I need to make a flint and steel fire, some natural fire making materials 
I like to keep a traditional sometimes, you know, it's just more fun that way. I've got a lot of modern fire making materials, but uh, having the traditional stuff is fun. In this bag, I like to have all my kitchen utensils. So I've got my spork, I've got the lid to my cup. I've got uh, sugar packets, some hot sauce. In this bag, I've got coffee. And this is just Folgers Instant Coffee. And uh, so yeah, so all the stuff that I need to, to make a cup of coffee or a cup of tea in the woods, I got this in this bag right here. Now this bag, this really had, this contains most of the small essentials that I need. This is my Possible's pouch that I got from Hidden Woodsman. Um, you've seen this uh, video before where I've shown this, but I thought I'd go through the contents of it. It's a really nice organized pouch and holds everything I need. See that there's all the gear that I need to start a fire. I've got matches in this waterproof container. I've got a big heavy duty ferro rod. Got my pocket bellows. Got an open L knife to strike uh, a fair rod if I need to. A couple lighters. Uh, there's a fatwood bundle back here. And then on the side pouch, I've got a water filter, which I've done a video on this before. This is the Aquamira uh, Frontier Pro. And then the front pop pouch or pocket of this, we got a couple chem lights. So just a lot of little things that I need to take with me are in this pouch for easy finding. And I like it because it's got this grab handle on the top, so it's perfect for this type of backpack. I can just reach right in there and grab that, pull that out. At the bottom of my pack, I keep a poncho. This is a poncho tarp. This is a um, I think about five by eight uh, Bushcraft Outfitters um, tarp poncho. So I can wear this as a poncho or I can use this as a tarp either way. Um, nice versatile piece of kit. You know, one thing I like about some of this gear that I bring, it has multiple purposes and this one, this piece of kit is actually that way. Um, uh, you know, it's an emergency shelter, but it's also a way of keeping the rain off me if it, if it starts to rain out here. The one thing I always put in my backpacks um, is some kind of ground cloth. This is an East German ground mat that I cut up and put in my pack. This is great for sitting on. Uh, keeps keeps your butt dry and warm when it's wet and nasty out. Always have something like this. And if you can't find one of these, an emergency blanket, like a space blanket, is a great thing to carry too because it, it's that has multiple purposes. You can use it as a tarp or you can use it as ground cloth. And one thing that I always keep inside my pack is piece of blue um, insulate uh, insulated foam pad. This is a sit pad or kneeling pad. So if I'm making a fire on the ground and I need to kneel, I can uh, I can use that. Now, no bushcraft backpack is going to be complete without some tools. So I've got my tomahawk, but I've also have my silky gomboy. Great saw. Just got this. Love this thing. It is a powerhouse. Any silky saw is phenomenal, and I, I'll choose a silky over any saw that I have. Over a Baco, over anything. It's just, um, they're just uh, a really quality, well made saw, and they cut like a laser. That's definitely a samurai sword. I love this thing. And of course you gotta have a knife. So I've got my LT Wright Force Trail Knife. Did a video on that. Looks like I need to clean the blade, so it's getting a little dirty. But a nice big blade. Can do a lot of stuff with this thing. Very sharp, it's a Scandi. And I got a ferro rod on the side too, so I got a redundancy on my ferro rods. And down in here I've got uh, some 550 cord. 
so that way I can tie up that poncho and turn it into a shelter. I've got my Fognivan DC4 sharpening stone. If you've never seen one of these and you're looking for a pocket sharpening stone to throw in your pack, this is a great one to get. It has a coarse side on it and it has a fine side on it. You can do a lot of sharpening tasks with this little pocket stone. And then inside this pocket here, I've got my Hidden Woodsman signal panel. Now, <clears throat> this is a multi-purpose item. I don't really carry it for a signal panel purposes, even though that's what it's capable of doing. I use this more for ground prep. So if I'm doing fire prep, I'll put this on the ground, put all my wood on top of it, keeps everything off the ground nice and dry. Um, it also, you know, allows me to see everything that I'm working with on my gear. So it's, it's a great way of just organizing stuff on the ground. I love that thing. It's, it's probably one of the best hidden woodsman products that he has. And, um, it's one of the most inexpensive. This top pocket. I've got a rope with a carabiner hooked up to it. This is what I hang my pack on. I've got a first aid kit with some uh, some toilet paper, some Burt's Bees, there's uh, uh, band-aids, alcohol prep pads, there is some uh, moleskin in there in case I get a blister from hiking. And then I got a whistle with a signal mirror right there. Not an item I'm going to use very often, but at least I have it. And down in this pouch pocket, I've got um, in my Tough Possum gear pouch, I've got a, um, a little titanium wood stove that I cook my, my breakfast on or heat up my coffee. Got some multicam gloves. Mechanics wear. Then I've got a multi tool. This is a Leatherman uh, Skeletool. And then um, a Nova flashlight. So that's it for today. That's everything that's inside the backpack. There it is on. Carries very comfortably. I'll have to weigh it when I get home and let you know what the weight is. I'm not really sure right now. I'm guessing it's probably 20 pounds, somewhere in that neighborhood. Maybe a little bit less with water. Oh, and um, this thing right here on my backpack's shoulder uh, strap. It's a little flashlight. Isn't that cool? It's Princeton Tech. Got a little emergency strobe. It's a little task light, so if you're out and you're looking look at something like a map and you don't have your headlamp on, I can hit that and read what I'm doing. Just, uh, just a handy little item to have. Alright guys, as always, please like, subscribe, and share, and we will see you next time on The Prepared Wanderer.